Um, and that's exactly what this program is meant for, those older students that just need their facts mastered. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here editing my video and I realized that my intro was pretty lacking. Um, I was just trying to get the video done while my daughter was asleep. So um, if you're new here, my name is Kendra. I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom to three. And on this channel, I like to talk about homeschooling, curriculum, motherhood stuff. And also we have kind of like a little hobby farm here. So cows and various things of that nature. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe. And today I'm gonna to talk about a program that I found for my oldest son to help him master his math facts to make math more enjoyable and a little more smooth. <laughs> And of course, as I stand out here right now, it is not windy at all, and it would have been perfect to do a video now. I'm sorry for some of the wind noise in the video. Um, it does calm down a little bit, so it's not not too bad, but uh, I just wanted to let you know about that. So Now back to the original video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I noticed that my oldest was having trouble with his math facts and we've been doing speed drills and things with his current math but they just weren't sticking and it was getting to the point where it was hindering his speed and also his want to do any math. It was just bogging down his mind so much that he just would kind of freeze and say I don't want to do this anymore or he'd look at a page of math and be like Mom, don't make me do this. So the backstory here, as he was doing some borrowing in his current math, he just said, why am I even doing this? What is the point of borrowing? Like I cut out some like base 10 sticks and some units and I said, all right, well, so this is how it works. And I showed him you know, visually and I had done this before, but I guess I hadn't really paid attention to like his progression, I guess. I mean, anyway, so his current math talks, you know, just gives you the process, but not the why. And he wanted to know the why behind it. And so once I did that and showed it to him, he goes, well, that makes a lot more sense, mom. I just need to see it. I just need to see the math. And it like kind of hit me upside the head at that point. Be like, see the math, math you see. Now we're currently using um, Christian Light Education Math, which I love. I don't intend to switch anytime soon. However, I knew that he needed to get some sort of math facts down. Otherwise, this wasn't going to go well. I started doing some research and was like, okay, let's just, maybe he needs a mastery. Maybe he needs Matthew C. So I started looking at Matthew C and I was going to get beta for him just to kind of do some review. Teach him the way that they do addition and subtraction. And so I got to looking at it and I realized that they had the exact thing that I needed and that I really wanted to look into. This is called the Accelerated Individual Mastery or AIM program. They have one for addition and subtraction and they have one for multiplication and division facts. So what this is, sorry it's cold out here, man. So what this is, is what they would call like an intervention of math facts. And this is designed for older students who just don't have all of, all of their math facts mastered to the point of, um, you know, quick recognition. If you get into multiplication and division, all those coping skills that you've come up with on counting fingers and whatnot just bog your working memory down and it makes it hard for them to process the rest of the problem and it slows them down and they just shut down and that's what he was doing he was just shutting down and didn't want to have anything to do with it so when i found this i got really really excited it comes in a little set like this and it comes with just a small set of the um, matthew c blocks let me open this up here. So it comes with a book here, and this is kind of teaches the parent how to um, implement their methodology for this. And they start with plus two facts, and they go into uh, plus nine, plus eight, doubles, and so forth. And we're really liking this so far. Um, I have noticed a big improvement with his math fact recognition and we are onto the plus eights right now and he's almost got those down. 
But this basically is just a mastery of math facts. You can go as slow or as quickly as it takes your child to do so, but you do not want to move on until they have mastered that particular set of facts. Here is the set of blocks that you get. Kind of a mess in here right now. You get a whole set of these little blocks just that you need for this. You also get some colored pencils that match the blocks. A whole bunch of these little fact cards. Um, these are not used like flash cards necessarily. They are um, used a little bit differently. And they've also got a whole bunch of different posters and things in here to set up in your schoolroom or whatever if they need reminders of things that they're currently working on. So along with this, you also get digital access to this program, which is critical in my opinion. Um, it has the video lessons. It also has the steps that you watched in order to teach your child how to go through these particular steps that they want you to do. And it also gives you a whole bunch of different resources and different activities for review, which I thought was amazing. Um, we were working on the plus nines and, or was it the plus twos? The plus twos. There was a few that he really just couldn't remember right away without counting. We ended up doing a game. It was a game board and you put like the sum and then you take your little math fact cards, these here, and you would flip one over and then if you could recall it quickly, you could move to wherever that sum was on the game board and move on. And he really, really enjoyed that. And we did it three or four or five times. And he finally beat me because he was fast enough that he didn't have to like pause and wait or stop or whatever. And he did actually kick me back to the beginning too because he landed on the same, same one. So, but there are multitudes of different review activities on that online. And I'll show you guys the online, um, digital toolbox in a minute here when I'm done. Um, these fact cards also have stars on them. And as you go through the program or the lesson, each lesson is for a set of fact cards. As you go through these, once you get three stars on each card, then you have mastered those facts and you can move on to the next lesson. So the very, very first thing that you do is you're going to take an assessment and basically you're going to ask them all the different math facts, addition and subtraction that um, they'll be working on. And you do not do them all at once. You maybe do five or six and then take a break or however many your child is willing to do in a small amount of time and take lots of breaks so that their mind can process all of that. And this is just to see kind of where they're at at the beginning of this program. Then you go through this and at the end you'll take the assessment again and hopefully by then they should have mastered them all because you are not supposed to progress through this until they're mastered. Okay, so there are four parts to each lesson. Let me get to lesson two here because lesson one is basically familiarizing yourself with the math blocks and the color. So associating the color with the number. If you're not familiar with math, you see um, these blocks represent a number. This is eight. So they would say, oh, eight is like chocolate. Chocolate is what um, Mr. Demi says. And then the yellow is four. So they're associating the color with the number. Could you like migrate? Starting with lesson two, it says, session A, present lesson instruction. So what they do is they go through the fact cards, whatever set you're working on. This is the nine facts. And they would just flip through them. And what they do is build, write, and say. So they're going to build it with their blocks. They're going to say it and write it. And they're going to do that for all of them. And that is what they will do for session A. Session B, there is a word problem sheet and that is found on the digital toolbox that you can print off so that if he needs to build them in order to find out the solution, fine. If he knows the solution, he'll just write the problem. Session C, they actually go from using the blocks to associating it with the colors on the colored pencils. So as you can see, like an example here, eight plus two is the same as 10. These are the colors of the blocks. 
So they're going to go ahead and write their facts in a notebook. My son just has a gridded notebook here. Um, and so he has written his facts from the first part. And then he went ahead and did all of this for session C. Here is an example of the word problem sheet also. I'll go ahead and show you that. So session D is assess for mastery. So what you're going to do is take your math cards and flip one over and say, all right, what is this? If they can give you the answer within three seconds, then you can consider that mastered and you hand it to them and they fill in a star. What we do is we just run through these like once that day and then we'll go through them again another day or later that day or something like that and see how many stars he can get. So if there are a few facts that they cannot recall within three seconds, you set those aside and for those you're going to do more review. So you're going to go into your digital toolbox and find some of the review activities, whether it be a game or a memory thing or, I mean there's just like a ton of different options there which I will kind of show you here in a minute. So this lesson um, overall is not supposed to take one day. You're supposed to be taking a break after each session. Um, it could mean a couple hour break, it could mean a whole day. Just however your child wants to do this at whatever pace that they want to go. And then down here they have like this grid that shows you the shaded parts of what facts you are already mastered. So that's nice just so that your child can track and be like, oh wow, I know that many facts already? That's crazy. So it kind of is like a confidence booster there. Um, so we are only like four lessons into this so far, but I am really liking this. It is definitely working and helping and I am so glad that I found it because I was just gonna throw him into beta and kinda like progress that way, but this is exactly what he needed because in alpha on Math UC is where they do the actual math facts, but I knew that he was too far advanced for that. Um, and I didn't wanna like stick him in that and make it feel kinda babyish, I guess you can say. Um, and that's exactly what this program is meant for those older students that just need their facts mastered um, so that they don't have to go all the way back to alpha to work up. This program can be used with any math course that you're using. You can continue to do your other math while you are doing this or you can take a break like they said and do like an intervention and then continue on with your math after. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that once all of his math facts are good, that CLE will be a lot faster for him and a lot easier and it won't be a struggle and a fight with him all the time. But I'm also wondering that maybe he needs the mastery and maybe he needs that visual and the understanding behind it. So we'll see how it goes. We may end up kind of doing a couple in tandem and see how that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around and um, show you on the computer what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the computer. Um, this is the Demi Learning Digital Toolbox. So I have just signed in and I'm gonna go over here. When you order the program, you're gonna get an access code to the um, digital toolbox. Then you will set up an account and everything like that. So in here is the digital packs and this is the aim, addition, and subtraction. So I'm gonna click on that. And then it goes into your lessons here. So it has all your lessons down here. And then it also has videos and different um, sheets or whatever that are used for that particular lesson. There are solutions if you need that. And it tells you the different answers. Here's the different activities that I was talking about, resources, and then any known errors that are involved. So for instance, let's just go to lesson four. Here's lesson four. So on day one or part A of the lesson, we would watch the video and we'd go ahead and play that, which is Mr. Demi talking um, and giving you examples. So you'll watch the video and then they'll go ahead and do the build, write, say 
for part A. This here is the fact check cards. If um, for some reason you need more of these or you've lost them or you need them for another child maybe, you can print out um, more of these. Excuse the noise, my child is cooking an egg over there. Um, okay, so here are those facts for that lesson. So we'll go back. This is the word problem sheet. So this is the sheet that I would print out for him on section B. So here's those activities that I was talking about. These are invaluable in my um, opinion here. But it's the review activities that I wanted to show you guys real quick. So it goes over a whole bunch, all these different games, activities, and things like that that you can play with your child to help review. And then it tells you what facts they are for. So this one would just be for plus two. These could be for any and um, things like that. So for instance, let's, let's see, R14, the pyramid. I haven't actually looked at this one yet. Um, so this one. This is some racing. So this is a different game that you can play with there. R13 doubles, no trouble. Oh here, R14, the pyramid. So then it tells you how to play, what to do, and if there's any sort of game board or anything, they will have that below. Just all kinds of different games and extra practice for your child to master these without just constantly build writing and saying and playing with the blocks. So it goes through 22 lessons. And in lesson 22, it is subtraction by three and four. So that would be the last ones that they'll master. And it has all of these different links here. Here's the after aim assessment that you'd be taking and uh, things like that. So yeah, that is the digital toolbox. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoy that video. Um, let me know, have you heard of this program before? I recently just found it and I'm so glad that I did because it was literally exactly what I was looking for. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and that like also, cause that really helps me out. And I have paper flying across my yard now. So a storm is rolling in and I better get inside. So thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Okay, got my paper. It's getting windy. I just felt a raindrop.